the 2020 Virtual Disability Athletics Fair. Thanks to our sponsors. Chris Jackson Aquatics Exercises. Okay, we're gonna start off with a warm up here. This is a swimmer athlete style warm up. We're gonna alternate between our upper body, our shoulders primarily, and then we're gonna do some legs as well. If you cannot do the legs, then just continue on with the shoulder warm up or the upper body warm up. We'll go 30 seconds of work, we'll take 15 seconds rest and then we'll move on to the next exercise. So we're going to start off with just some shoulder circles, arms are out to the side at shoulder height and then just here we go 30 seconds rolling our shoulders forward, small circles, Fingers are relaxed, but together. That's going to be helpful when you do find yourself back in a pool. You to create as much surface area as you can without allowing water to slip through the fingertips. We have five more seconds. Okay, relax the shoulders. Now we're going to go down to the lower body and we're just doing an alternating kick. We'll go in five seconds. <clears throat> Here we go. And just alternating kick, one leg at a time. You can't do the legs and you're continuing on with the arm circles. Halfway. relax. We're going to do a jumping jack motion. So hands start at your side and bring them all the way up and then back down. We're going to go in three, two, one. Here we go. Bring them up and down. Up and down. Getting our shoulders warmed up. Don't forget to breathe. Breathing is important. Well, we got about eight seconds left. And then relax. All right, if you can, we're gonna do a marching motion this time, where you're bringing alternating knees up as high as you can. And here we go. Bring those knees up. We're marching in place. Breathing in through our nose. Exhaling through your mouth. Focusing on the hip joint here as we march in place. All right, we're gonna do a freestyle or front crawl. Hand up, extend it, and then pull it down, and then the other hand. Here we go. We'll start here, and then pull, and then pull, and then pull. Now, if you were in a pool, you have to time your breathing. Breathe into the side. Blow bubbles into the pool. Turn to the side, breathe in. Turn to the side, breathe in. That was our freestyle. Now we're gonna go back down to the legs. We're gonna do a flutter kick. So you're gonna keep your legs straight as possible and kick. You can continue on with the alternating. you need to or continue on with the arm exercise. 
So on this, try to keep your legs straight. Don't bend at the knee as much. I'm trying to start the kick here in the upper part of the leg. We have eight seconds. And relax. We say we do that freestyle pull again, one in five seconds. You're starting here as high as you can. You can go out front if you need to. Shoot that arm back. You're pushing water back. You're reaching forward. Push that water back. To focus on breathing, turn to the side, breathe in. Blow your air out while you're looking between your arms. Turn your head to the side, breathe in. Good. Okay, going to our lower legs again. Continue to flutter kick if you can. Do alternating kick if necessary. Or repeat the arms. I'm gonna go to flutter kick. Keeping my upper body straight as possible. Body position in swimming is a big deal. When you lose body position, you make it much harder on yourself. 10 more seconds. Okay, we're gonna go to a breaststroke pull to warm up our shoulders, continue to work our shoulders. You can shoot the hands forward, drop the fingers, pull them back. Okay, here we go. Shoot the hands forward, pause right here, drop your fingertips, pull them back, keep the elbows nice and high, and then bring them in. Here's where I exhale, here's where I breathe in. Exhale, inhale. A little bit of upper body motion is okay here as well. You can do that. And we're on our break. So remember, focus on that breathing. Back down to our legs. Here we go, just a flutter kick again. Remember, you have options. You have marching in place. You have one leg and then the other or you have flutter kick, so choose whichever. Or if you're not doing legs and you continue on with that breaststroke pull. 10 seconds left. Let's take a, get some water. And then we're gonna move into backstroke and butterfly. Backstroke and butterfly. A little bit longer rest here. We're going to go in eight seconds. Backstroke. Start here. Push the water towards the ground. And then this arm up. Push the water towards the ground. You'll notice there's a little bit of a bend in the elbow on the pushing part. The recovery nice and straight. So we're here, we're here. Find a breathing pattern. Nice thing about backstroke, your face is out of the water the entire time. So you actually can breathe whenever you'd like. We'll repeat that backstroke one. After we do legs, let's go back down to our legs. Think about a breathing pattern here as well. Deep breath in, and then exhale. As best as you can, try to keep your ankles relaxed. 
That allows your toes to point without cramping up so much. All right, again on the backstroke here. So nice straight arm on the recovery, bent elbow on the pushing part, and you're pushing that water towards your feet. Here we go. And go. Fifteen seconds left. Shoulders got to be feeling pretty warm. All right, we're going back down to the legs. Or you're continuing on with the backstroke. Here we go. Three, two, ready. Remember, alternating kick or marching in place or arm work. We're halfway. Five seconds. Okay, the butterfly. Butterfly is similar to the freestyle, but both arms work simultaneously. They work at the same time. So you're gonna start reaching here, grab water, and then throw it back. Reach, throw it back. Take your yeah. head up to breathe in, and then breathe out. In. different in the air. Okay, our legs, here we go. We'll do that butterfly one more time. Ten seconds. All right, so the butterfly, nice wide recovery, slight bend in the elbow, the back of the hand leading forward as you go forward, palms towards your feet, throw that water back. Here's the recovery. Throw that water back, exhale, inhale. So this is what it looks like straight up and down here. I grab water, throw it down, grab water, throw it down, grab water. Okay, nice job. We're gonna do one more exercise. I'm gonna set the timer up a little differently. We're gonna go through an individual medley. So medley is a collection where we do all of the competitive strokes, okay? So we're gonna go butterfly, backstroke, breaststroke, freestyle. We're gonna do 20 seconds of each stroke. And we're gonna do a quick, like three second transition. So let me set this up. 20 seconds of each stroke. The three second transition.
So starting with butterfly, starting with butterfly. So going in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Here we go, both arms working simultaneously. 15 seconds left. We're going to backstroke next, 10 seconds. Keep those arms moving. Five seconds, four, three. Okay, now backstroke, ready and go. Backstroke, backstroke. Straight arm on the recovery, bent arm on the push. Eight seconds left. What's next? Fly back, breaststroke is next. Getting ready for breaststroke, here we go. Reach, pause, pull. Reach, pause. Blow out, breathe in. Halfway. Okay, bring it home, this is freestyle. Ready, go. Turn your head to the side to breathe. Five seconds. Get to the finish line. I'm going head down. No breaths. Gonna finish. And there's the finish. <laughs> That's it. Hey, nice job, you guys. Hope you enjoyed your swimmer style warm up. I turn off this timer because we're done. Click the provided Zoom link on the event page for an exclusive DAF 2020 Q&A with the coach.